we have here? Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm happy to see you again in our meeting today. <coughs> So uh, last week we talked about our uh, meeting 12. It's about social life, uh, Mr. Yellow and Mr. Blue. <laughs> now we come to the next one still about social life. We continue the next one. Uh, without further ado, tanpa bong -bong waktu, I'd like to show you our last um, meeting. Let's say uh, we have here. Mm, hold on, it's still being processed. The PowerPoint. Okay, here it goes. Okay, here it is. Uh, can you see the slide? Not yet, sir. Not yet? No, no, no. sir. Okay. Uh, this one? Still no. Still, Still no, no, sir. Okay, okay. No. Okay, sir. It's appearing. Okay. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Um, so, um, this is our topic uh, last week. We, we we continue to the next one. Um, uh, hold on, still being processed. Technology is like this. Go on. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. How it works. Okay, life story. So this is still about our uh, previous meeting. Life story. Uh, we continue. These are several of the words. Um, we have here amazing, amusing, awful, bizarre, <clears throat> delightful, dramatic, uh, dreadful, embarrassing, fantastic, frightening, and we have a hard, hard grounding. Um, I'm not quite sure what does that mean. Heartwarming, hysterical, <clears throat> incredible, painful, react, reaction, strained, sus suspense, suspense, suspenseful, horrible, true story, unbelievable, unusual, and wild. Is there any word that you never heard of before <clears throat> from this I list? Bizarre. Which number? 11. Oh, number four. Four. Oh, 11. 11. Okay, heart, heart rending. Heart rending. Um, it, it sounds like it's really connected to something special within your life. And oh, there's still someone who wants to join with us. So I have to allow him to join. Okay. Um, so, bizarre. Uh, heart rending that's what it means and bizarre bizarre means it's just like um, a scary big and then but then it's yeah it's right there that it's bizarre kind of it's weird but it exists that's that's what it means um okay i have to all right so in this picture you see someone is uh, speaking in front of the audience or his friends, how are the students reacting to each of the classmates' stories? So we like have one, foot. two, three. Delightful. Like one, two. delightful. Yeah. The first one is. Yes. Of I think they're crying. Uh, look at look at their body language. They're laughing and then shouting. And, and yeah. amazing. Uh, amazing, 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 or delightful, or it could be fantastic. Amusing. Amusing, yeah, Thank amusing. You. Excuse me? Yeah, uh, dreadful. Uh, dreadful is, is, 
is something negative, dreadful. So number number uh, three, four, uh, six, seven, and eight have almost um, closer in meaning. Dreadful, embarrassing. Embarrassing means um, some a situation that makes your face to be uh, red. That's embarrassing. Uh, memalukan. It's not painful. It's embarrassing. Seperti misalnya, uh, you walk um, outside your house and suddenly you slip off. That's embarrassing. And this one, uh, the second picture shows a girl or a, stu a female student. Uh, she showed tears in her face. So what that means? What is this? Mm, I think it's a uh, heartwarming. Yeah. Right. Heartwarming. It's a uh, heartwarming. Heartwarming means uh, a very nice story that touches your heart. That's what it means. Heartwarming. And what about the third picture? Hmm. Face. The green green mentions like uh, uh, horror, horror story. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it could be. It, it could be painful, unbelievable. It could be unbelievable. Oh, really? Uh, the, usually, uh, English native speakers would react in such a, in this phase by saying, "Oh, really? Is it true? Oh, that's unusual. Oh, that's strange." Uh, but the meaning of strange, strange, sometimes it is not always negative. It's just new for someone. It's a new stuff. But then that person doesn't accept it easily. It could be strange. Okay. <clears throat> now these these are the list of the words about life story. You can you can use this word when you express your life story. Then we continue. To do the next one, we have here um, conversation squares. Um, you can see it again in the YouTube slides later on. You ask your partners question and write their answers like this. Um, we're going to use this as our um, task. And students, name. This is you. Where were you one year ago? Where were you five years ago? Where were you ten years ago? Maybe the answer is pardon one, padam, 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 padam. <laughs> so I think this is not really challenging, I guess. It's not really challenging for you. Um, uh, it's really exhausting. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we'll, do that. we'll do that in our final exam. Mm, nice. <clears throat> not now. Okay. Future plans, hopes, and dreams. Okay, let me show you the list of the words. Uh, first one and question. We have accomplish, accomplishment, ambition, ambitious, daydream, daydreamer, determination, dream, uh, dreamer, fantasize, uh, fantasy, goal in life, uh, goal in life. Do you know goal in life? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. To join his group, hope. Imagine, objective, persevere, persevere. Uh, some some um, English speakers say perseverance because it shows uh, the meaning of um, that I had perseverance, that you show that you have that kind of characteristic. We have plan, realistic, succeed, success, successful, unrealistic, visualize, and wonder. Do you have any words that you don't know? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I think I think all these words are not really that difficult. Daydream or daydreamer. It's closer in meaning to fantasize, but daydreamer is uh, you. You wake seems like. You want to be someone, but you never make an effort to be that someone. That's the dream. For example, you want to go to France, but you you never learn French. You you want to be um, a teacher of Arabic, 
but you never learn Arabic. That's dangerous. It's very different from fantasize. Fantasize means something beyond logic. It's never existed. That's fantasize. Um, accomplish. Uh, so, you know, imaginary world. Imaginary world, dunia imaginasi, in your mind. Yeah. Yeah. When you create sorts of things in your mind that you are king or you are someone special, that's that's imagination. Mm -hmm. um, that that's fancy, and it's okay. Nothing wrong with that. But unless you put that in your fantasy, don't put it into our real life. Um. Well, <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, is that? Uh, do you know which words that belong to verb? Verb. Verb number one. Number eight. Number ten. Thirteen. Fourteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Nineteen. And twenty three and twenty four. They are verbs. They are. itu adalah kata kerja. Hmm. All right. Now we we look at the picture. One, two, three, four. We have four students dreaming or imagining about something in their mind. Now the question is, what is each student they dreaming about? What about number one? This girl. To be what? Okay, that's good. The word it's it, it could be mm -hmm, with a yellow hat. Do you know what profession is that? You can say to be an worker. Uh huh. Construction. Worker. Construction worker, yes, yes, that's correct. Um, and this profession can also be known as uh, engineering, engineer, engineer, um, construction worker. Yeah. Is that? Do you want to say something? Yeah, engineering mm -hmm. as in construction engineering. I don't know. What's that? Okay. It says you can say civil engineering or um, construction work. Yes, that's correct. And what about the third, the second one? What he wants to be? His daydream about what? Teacher. 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 Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's it's quite obvious. Obvious means uh, sangat jelas ya. Papan tulis, letters, points at letters, and teach. And the third one, the third one. What does he want to be? Racer. Yes. That's racer. Oh, you racer. Yeah. A racer. Okay. A, a racer. Pembalap ya. Race. 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 Mm, okay. Um. And the fourth one. It is two women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the woman. Either, either that or being a god digger. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think it's, she she wants to um she wants to do this leisure time next to a pool and yeah. just being, yeah just being lazy <laughs> like this. Is she becoming a rich crazy rich person or? A, She's like the gold digger. I don't know. Oh, those yeah. oh you, you you're saying gold digger? Yeah. <laughs> uh, look, look at look at this picture. You see things to do. Number one, shopping. Two, dinner. Three, laundry. Four, homework. Laundry. Uh, laundry. She's, she's not Actually, she's not rich. She's not rich, but she's not rich. She she's dreaming about this one. Yeah. <laughs> So no. it's a uh, for, for girls never never plan to be gold digger never plan to do that. It's plan to do that. 
Do you plan to be like that? Why? What? Do I? Do I? Do I? No, no, no. You have to be the gold provider. <laughs> that's not gold provider. A good idea. No, that's that's, that's not a good idea, sir. That's a worse idea. Oh, worse idea. <laughs> Why? Do I? Why would I become a gold provider for them? They don't no. give me easy. Well, what I'm saying is, being a gold provider does not always for women. It can be for your mother, for your sister, for your family. What's the problem? <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Okay. Okay, I this is my joke. Um, <laughs> so, we have here uh, this word, fantasize, fancy, go in life, imagine, uh, persevere. Mm. Now, question number two. Which daydreams are realistic? Which one? Realistic. Number one, two, three, four. Uh, all of them are realistic. Really? Uh, as in realistic, they can be true, right? Yeah. The all of them can be yeah. true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the meaning of realistic in here is the best possible condition to achieve. And this Thanks. realistic. Uh, and then the the yellow girl and the pink guy. The yellow girl and the pink guy. Yes. Okay. Number one and number two. Okay. Uh, the third one is just imagining that he wants to be a, a racer, but yeah. uh, he ate, he only painted a car. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. Okay. You did a good okay, job right there. <laughs> yeah. That's that's reason. Um, number three, what do the students need to do to make the dreams come true? Uh, dependable. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the rest of you need to speak up. Yeah, jangan audio aja. Um, the rest is changed. Take your turn. Oh, yeah. uh, because I'm going to watch again our video, and then I'm gonna I'm going to take note who is the most active student and silent one. Um, it's okay, you want to speak up, everyone is all right. Um, that's about dreams. We will come to learning styles. We have this list of words. Number one is CD room, collaborate, discuss, discussion, field trip, group work, headset, headset, uh, independent study, instruct, instruction uh coba reski continue number 11 internet yes memorize method hmm. multimedia hmm. oral practice river print out mm -hmm. uh, research mm -hmm. uh, review mm -hmm. take notes technology mm -hmm. Tutorial, tutorial, visual, visual aid, word processor. Okay, good. So this, those are a list of, a list of words that can be used for, um, in this chapter. Okay. Now we would like to see what are the questions. Okay. What methods of learning are the students using in the scene? What method? Number one, look at the picture. I think he is in the library, right? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Okay. So what method does he apply? Uh, independent study. Good, independent study. Good, number eight. And what about the second one? Discussion. 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 From this list? Discussion. Discussion, discussion or group work or collaborate. Uh, collaborate. Yes. collaborate and the third one print out cd room oh no no it's not cd room i think i think cd room is number four four five six seven number four uh, look yeah. at this picture. It's the wrong. Okay. Okay, um, yeah. And what about the fifth picture? Good car. 
uh, what number? Technology. 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 True. Uh -huh. Number. Technology. Technology. I think so. Technology goes to number four and number three. Technology using technological tools. Um, I, th I think I think this one is. We can also say it is collaborate. Uh, uh, group work. Um, uh, no, and this is peer actually. If it yes. consists only two, it is peer. Uh, number one, four, five, number six. Tutorial. Yes, it, it can be tutorial. And this one. Visual aid. Yeah, visual aid. So when you when you teach or explaining about something to someone, you need to use visual aid. Visual aids means um, things that you can use to to show people with illustration. And the last one, what is this? Practice. What number? Practice 16. Pra practice 16, yes. Practice in doing the embroidery, embroidery or being a tailor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we have, um, maybe it's, um, I think that's this the closest one. Yeah, that's the only yeah, one. But, yeah, practice. Um, um, it can be. It, it can also be visual aid, by showing this is the example of the clothes. This is how you make it. Things like that. Okay. Now we continue. Mm -hmm. This one is okay. I think we have close about this one. That's it. I'm not gonna talk about this one again okay now this one review so um our final could be like this don't forget to ask your friend and perhaps like this one i'm going to send you the examination uh, question first and then after that we will arrange the schedule and in that schedule you will be online and then you are ready to speak okay that's probably the best one to do that so I stop share this one. Um, I'm going to talk about our uh, 13th meeting today. Okay, where is that? Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Good. Uh, reading view. Okay. So this is our uh, 13th meeting. We have talked about social communication from introduction and greetings, more about you, how to express congratulation, apologies, good and bad manners, helping each other, expressing sympathy and review. We also have discussed about chapter unit two, personal life, how to express your daily life, your favorite food, personality, characteristic, friends, childhood memories, cultural identity, life story, future plans, hopes and dreams, and learning styles. Now we will talk about this one. It's a family life. Okay. We're going to talk about families, falling in love, marriage, having a baby, growing up, parenting, after school, uh, divorce, no, divorce is bad and growing old. Don't tell me that you will not grow old. You will grow old. <laughs> that's why that's why there is a song forever young. <laughs> yeah. Because everybody is going to be old at some point in their life, right? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Are you saying that uh, you referring referring to having forever young? Oh, never mind. No, it's well the, the lyric of forever young means 
the, the expectation of to be young forever because the reality is that people are go growing old every day. But what about people that die young? Is that honest growing up or growing old? Die young. Yeah. Uh, well, like, well, well uh, if it is die young, then that, that's the end of the story. <laughs> What's the problem again? <laughs> so, oh, don't die young. <laughs> So don't don't die young. Uh, don't never never wish to die young. You have to die old. <laughs> well, that's vulnerable. <laughs> Which means that when you know that you are young, you have a plenty of time. You have a plenty of opportunities that you could enjoy in your life. So don't waste it. Don't just spend your time sleeping in the bed and don't then watching TV. Don't don't. Don't waste it. Okay, don't di don't disiasiakan. You have you nice still time. young. You have a lot of energy. I'm still young too. <laughs> I don't say I'm. <laughs> I never said I'm old. I'm still young. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. older than you, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we talk about the families. Yeah. Um, is there anyone doesn't want to have a family? As in marriage? No, I don't. What do you mean? I don't. I don't go marriage. I don't want to. You, you you don't want to get married? No, I don't want to. Uh, why? I was thinking. <laughs> part of what? How exhausting! They're like you need to take a responsibility. That uh, is okay. too hard. Okay. So if you don't want to get married, then you have you will have acquaintance. Yeah. Acquaintance Probably, yeah. means. Someone close to you, but you just uh, stay together without any responsibility at all. Yeah, <laughs> and that doesn't work. That system doesn't work in here. <laughs> well, maybe we can go out. I'll go on. <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> somewhere else. Yeah. All right, and then you will be rotten. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm just yeah. joking. Okay. So uh, now we talk about family. Um, this is the picture. The, some people call it family tree. Mm -hmm. This uh, two grandmother, grandfather, old grand people. They're having a baby, and then this one, and then they get married, and okay, and so on, so forth. Below this one, we have here the word adopt, adoption, ex-husband, mm, extended family, ex-wife. Who wants to read this? Who wants to practice reading this? Terserah, siapa? Nanti namanya kan kelihatan itu. Siapa yang mau baca? Kau saya katain. Nobody? Nobody wants to read this? Go on, go on. <laughs> yes, this one, sir. No, just just read all of this vocabulary. Okay, go ahead. Three mm -hmm. generation great grandchild mm -hmm. great grandparent mm -hmm. half brother half uh, mm -hmm. half sister then and identical in in common mm -hmm. look look like Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
So from this list, which word that you might not know? Great. Exit. X. Family. Number four. Okay, number four. Number four. Okay. Um, you you will see your extended family beyond your mother and father. For example, this one. This is nuclear family, mother, a father, and then the children. Nuclear. Nuclear means the smallest family in the system of the big family. They well mostly we call it big family, besar, right? Big family. But actually in English it is called extended family. You extend extended family. And then we have here adopt, adoption. Adoption means that when you want to have a child that doesn't uh, be your biological child and you adopt it. Adoption. Uh, in the West, the system is a bit different with, with our country. In our country, when you adopt a child, you can do so, but when the child grows up, um, the things about um, married or uh, having wealth, uh, the adopted child may not be able to get it. It's different from in the West from what I know. Um, so even in our country, you can marry your own adopted child. <laughs> That's what I would say. That's so terrible. But don't do that. I will do that. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, it sounds interesting. Yeah, that is sounds interesting. <laughs> We could do that. I did. Yeah, I think that we could do that. Well, but well, that's that's the in terms of the bloodline. You can you can marry, but in terms of law and the norm, it is not permissible. It's not allowed. By who? By the law? In this country, maybe. Maybe in this country, it is isn't allowed. But in another another country, maybe it could be allowed. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Just try. Just change Probably. the nation, maybe. Probably. It's just feeling, feeling hard, feeling weird when you consider uh, this is your baby and then you have a child and then you marry it. It's just weird. <laughs> um, this I, is weird. I see something warped, so that's not really warped. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think what you think, maybe. Mm -hmm. You know what I think. <laughs> Uh, right. I don't know what you think of. <laughs> okay, so we have here um, this one, the word half brother and half sister. Um, I, this is the first time for me to hear this word, half brother and half sister. Uh, is it the same what does that mean? Brother? Mm, I'm not quite sure. Okay. What about stepmom? Uh, stepmother. Uh, stepmother is uh, it's completely obvious. It's it's clear when your father marry another woman who is not your biological mother. That woman is called as stepmother. That is okay. So uh, <laughs> that's that's uh, that's the weird thing, you know, when you have a stepmother. Yeah, kind of triggering. Every places I go and I met people, um, the second wife usually usually uh, uh, focus on the husband or father. Yeah, it's kind of angel person. <laughs> no, no, no. They're like a holy angel. Yeah. Yes. What are we not, talking not, about? not everyone. Not everyone. Okay, and uh, great grandparent, great grandchild means this one. So this is great grandparents, and this this one is called great grandchildren. Uh, for these people, this one are called grandchildren, children, grandchildren, great grandchildren. Ada lagi di bawahnya great great grandchildren, great 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 grandchildren. <laughs> 
at grad grad yeah so we have uh, and if you have seven seven um below you seven generation below you you already grad so second grade second grade yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> i got second grade what the... not seven grade seven <laughs> lines below you when you are older <laughs> when you become a grandfather uh, uh, become grand 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 grandfather then yeah Uh, <laughs> maybe we could do that if we have a marriage in a younger age. Uh, it, that is possible, but the thing is, when you marry in a very young age, the maturity level is very low. You must be rich first. Yes. Uh, or, or you have your own uh, hereditary system. What is that? No, I don't have. Uh, it's something like that. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I know you have you have your hereditary, at least your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> your clothes. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Or your pictures yeah. on Facebook. That's your hereditary, right? No, don't, don't cross the line, sir. Don't cross the line. Uh, no, that, no. That's actually <laughs> See, I'm that's, breaking jokes. That's my okay. <laughs> okay. Now we come to the next one. After after we talk about families, now we come to falling in love. Ooh, wow. Wow. This is so sweet. Is so falling in love. Falling in love. Uh, it's quite why hard they, to say. Why do they call it falling in love? Uh, yeah, because people fall. Fall. People Actually, fall. when you fall, it hurts, right? right. But, uh, But they are falling yes. in love. <laughs> when you fall it hurts you do sometimes it broke your your head or your hand you break your leg <laughs> it broke the heart oh god then okay. falling in is love hurt. Fall. yeah Man. i think this is see this is idiomatic if we change the word love into hate people never say that falling in hate you know falling in sadness no but what about falling in love Okay, now we talk about these pictures. We have uh, this woman and this man with eyeglasses, and there's two people sitting next to the other one. Uh, Number I one, know. two, three, and four. Okay, now we we look at this word. The first one is a track. Okay, siapa yang mau baca ini? Anyone? Hmm. Go on, I did. Want to read it? I uh, did. Uh, did. Okay, sure. <laughs> I ah, did. Yeah, okay. I did. Okay. We invite I did to read the words about love. Mm, go, I did go, I did go. <clears throat> okay. Attraction, uh-huh. boyfriend, bride, ceremony, compatible couple, mm-hmm. courtship, date, mm-hmm. Inge- engagement, fiancé. Mm-hmm. Fiance, how to how make a difference? Fiance, get, get, fiance, uh, get engaged, get married, girlfriend. I don't have one. Go up, go home, honeymoon, infatuation, in love, n- n- newly newlywed, newlywed, pro- newlywed, proposal, Propose, relationship, romantic, mm-hmm. true love, wedding. Okay, all right. There is one word that I want to add here, mm-hmm. and the word is commitment. commitment. Oh no! You yeah. don't. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you really mean to love somebody, you have to commit. <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Match. Yeah, that's no, no, that's no, important no. word. <laughs> No, 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 no. Otherwise, you are going to play behind your lover's back. <laughs> That might be true. <laughs> oh, come on, that's promiscuous. Okay. Um. Now we can we look at these pictures. We have these two people. They sit together in a theater. I think this is a theater or. Yeah, I um, think it is yeah, a theater. theater movie. And in. Instead of watching movie, they watch their each other's. Each other's eyes. What a lovely couple! <laughs> yeah, hell yeah! 
Oh, right. That's true. <laughs> Don't tell me you have done this. And have a girlfriend. Uh, it seems that I did have done that. Uh, be be careful if you do it this and you like this one while you don't have any responsibility at all it's going to trap you yeah i, I agree with it yeah it, did, it's I going to trap, trap. <laughs> what uh, because your mind will be distracted instead of focusing on your studies and your job you focus on something that um, that you can get it after you get a job Yeah. Okay. Um, then they they met each other's family, I guess, in here. Yeah. Each other three. And then after that, what happened? Probably they are the marriage. Oh, they oh, um, they live together maybe first. Oh, that's too soon. <laughs> they uh, but maybe that's something that needs to be happened. Oh, uh, I think it's number thirteen. It's get engaged. Oh. Yeah, okay. yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe other word doesn't. Mm -hmm. Maybe other word didn't yeah. mention it. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah, that that might be true as well. Um, so we have the word boyfriend and girlfriend. What is the difference mm -hmm. between uh, boyfriend girlfriend with fiance and fiance? I don't know what. Boyfriend, girlfriend, man, but I don't know. Does fiancé mean tunangan or what? Okay. Fiancé be more like the male, mm -hmm. and the fiancé is the female. Yeah, that's, that's correct. Um, but when you say fiancé or fiancé, it means that the relationship is getting closer to marriage. Married. married. Yeah, 70% of married. But because we have our our normal law our system you ah. may go further before what is allowed to do <laughs> ah, that's fiance and fiance right get engaged put put a ring put a ring uh, i don't have the ring i just have this one <laughs> why, you why, why, why did you, you, you yeah, why move the ring well did you dispose first, it uh, first <laughs> if you <laughs> no If you uh, if you're a man, it is not permissible to wear a golden ring. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, it's gold not, and silver in um, when you're getting to. I have this one, sport. and um, I have. Um, so this, I don't want to show it to you. So oh, you're flexing! Uh, <laughs> Luxurious, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not gonna show you. Yeah. Um, but after you get you get you get which one goes which one go first in love first or married first married first in love eh? first which one first I'm going with married mm. in love married. first or married first mm. in love first in love first I think in love first No, nah, married first. Most of people uh, will prefer to fall in love first instead uh -huh. of doing marriage at first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, in my case, it's different. <laughs> yeah, in marriage first, then in love. Uh, yeah, that's not that's that's not really bad, sir. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a oh. totally different story. Uh, you get to know someone first. Uh, be in a friend. That's why we have your dates. You go on a date, and then you meet their family. You talk to them, and you have um, this kind of words: infatuation, or so the word true love and in love. It can happen after you you are in that kind of relationship. Mm. It's a uh, married. It's not just about love. It's about commitment, and it's about uh, trust, and it's about working together. It's not just romantic. It's this different thing. Working not together. Time. Yeah, working together. You In work project <laughs> for your children. Ah, <laughs> uh, I get it. I get it. Yeah, you have to work together. 
See, when you have child one day, it's not just your wife's responsibility, but that's your responsibility too as a husband. So uh, it, responsibilities. <laughs> yeah, it, it works both ways. It works both ways. Um, and you need to enjoy it. Man, that that's the thing. Well, uh, here's, the, here's the thing though for, for men. Mm. If you put romantic or in love first before getting married, remember some of my friends are disappointed when he spent uh, his time for about four years with friend but you know what happened in the fifth year the girlfriend's parents wanted his girlfriend to get married with another man not with him wow ah, that's, sad. That's, that's what happened so imagine how much money he had spent for this girl how much time they spend together going out just yeah. to the mall and suddenly um, something happened like that. It's going to be disappointing, right? Yeah, it's hard. So for me, I don't want to feel that way. Make her mind, then we get married. Then after that- Why didn't he make a debt? What? Why Excuse didn't me? he make a debt? A debt. Well, it's, here's the thing. Um, he didn't make a date. Uh, which one? The the other the other man or this friend? No, I think that that D A B T that. Ah, dates. This one. According to the fees that he have. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, he has spent to four years. To Imagine, just imagine, I did, I did, and his girlfriend spent okay. together for four years. <laughs> imagine <laughs> four <laughs> years, and then being like CrossFit, wherever they go, they spend together, um, and then whenever you see I did, you see his girlfriend next to him. So I and my friend thought that they're going to get married one day, but you know what happened. In the fifth year, um, because Adit hasn't graduated yet, and the girl has graduated, and the girl finally got a job, and the parents of the girl asked her daughter to marry another man. So Adit become so devastated. And Adit proposed her but Adit doesn't have a job yet. So what happened? So let's pray for that. So that will be happen in the future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, that's the reason why I'm telling you, in order to take that as an example. Well, I believe that love grow. Love can grow. First, you, 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 you. I, I don't say that it is love when you meet someone and then you suddenly want to be with that person. That's not always love. Maybe that's just admiration. Do you know admiration? Yes, yes. Admire or you feel you like that person and then you feel you want to be your close friend. Mm, yes. Or you just or you just attracted sexually. That's different. Uh, that's the reason. See, <laughs> it's not always, it's not necessary about love. Love means you give, not you get, you give. You, 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 you give and then you make that person happy. That's, that's what love is. I don't, I don't know why I'm talking about this one. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's, um, this is interesting, you know. It's, mm. If you be careful though, when you say that you love someone and then you actually dominate that person, that's not love. That's not love. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. Really if you. Do. Yeah. It's, it's about giving. Uh, it's not getting too much. Okay, so uh, you know already these words. We have engagement, go out,
go out means um, you both you both went out from house and then go somewhere. Let's go out. So that's probably in Indonesia. We'll get the rice done. <laughs> <laughs> That's but in our culture, in our culture, in our religion, uh, or in my religion, uh, Islam, it's when you want to go yeah. out, you have to ask permission from the parents first. Yeah. Um, because uh, I don't know, in my understanding, that being being a girl is so soft. Once it is fragile, once it is damaged, you cannot heal it again. Yeah, it's, a, I do. it's totally different story. So for girls, do not open your heart easily just because you attracted to someone. Yeah, that's for girls. It's you. You. You like K-pop? Does it mean that you love them? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, because I have my sister. I have my sister, and I told her like that. Okay. <laughs> Okay. okay. Enough about love. Now we continue the next one. <laughs> okay. Now, okay. Now we have talked about love. Now they get married. Wow. Happy ending. <laughs> they get married. Um, we have these words uh, here. Number one, anniversary, celebration, close knit family. Okay, now we have here number four, commitment. Oh. oh. <coughs> yes. We have this one, committed. Committed, companion, companionships, uh, cooperate, cooperation, cooperated. Anyone wants to continue, Silakan? Good times, hard times, pay bills. Solution, solve, push, support, work together, tolerate, trouble, work together. Ah, okay, this is what I'm telling you, right? If you talk about marriage, it's not just about love. It's about this commitment, companion. Um, your wife or your husband is your companionship. Your companion, you have to cooperate. And then there will be good times. There will be hard times. And you think about pay bills. <laughs> yes, you have to pay the bills. You have to eat together. You have to iron your clothes. You have to go to the laundry. You have to go to the market. That's, that's the way it is. That's, that's uh, but the, the different thing is that uh, what I know in the US, for example, for those people who are not going to work or they don't earn monthly salary, usually the government will give them uh, yeah. and then like, something like loan. And yes. after you get you get a job, then you would pay for that. Hmm. Um, we we don't have that here though. We don't have that this system. Is the proper. Ah, the yeah. proper. Yeah, you have on your own. <laughs> you are yeah. on your own. Um, forget the rich. Mm -hmm. And then don't forget to to have tolerate. You have to tolerate, you know, when you stay with someone, even though you love that person, you will see some minus and some plus side of that person. Mm -hmm. So you need to tolerate that. Um, yeah, it, it's a it's a hard work to tolerate. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's it's a, When you when you could accept the flaws of your partner, and then your partner accept your flaws. Flaws means your um, yeah. your. So you should learn how to accept that, mm -hmm. and and leave everything in the past of who you were. If you, for example, if you recognize yourself as a badass or as a bad person in the past, leave that behind. Don't bring it to the future because your future is still clean. Right. So leave that Sounds behind. Right. Yeah, it's, um, people make mistakes. 
people make confusion. Oh. Yes, there are bad situation when sometimes you have to do this and you have to do that, and suddenly in the future, in the next time, you think that what you decided at that time was bad, then just let it go. People make mistakes. Just keep moving forward. <clears throat> because your future is still clean. My future is still clean. But mm. my past might be bad. Yeah, my past is bad. 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 So how was your past? I forget to go. And then I'm from the vengeance. Nah, that's good now. Uh, okay. All right. Mm. Okay. Now we have this picture. The number one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, five. Five. Okay. Okay. And they went out and then they have their own house. And suddenly, uh, they go to work. This one as well. Arrange the clothes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, they... They all. Wow. So actually, the Western culture, but we adopted, right? Is this Western culture? Budaya Barat? Roti pengantin begini, kue pengantin? Yes. Um, no, we... I think it is Western culture, Budaya Barat, I think. But we adopted, oh, kita yeah. adopted. Yeah, we adopted. Yeah. yeah, like in the other series. Yeah. They, are, they have uh, nasi tumpeng. Nah, yeah, that, that's, that's local. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. local thing. Yeah, that's really local. So we don't have mm -hmm. any Oh, uh, very local, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have here, this is about marriage. We have good times, hard times, pay bills, uh, solution, anniversary. Ah. Okay. All right. So think about this picture. Perhaps this picture might appear in our final exam. Um, <laughs> and now we come to the next one. Having a baby. Uh, a marriage. They have succeed. Of course. <laughs> when, when, when a man and a woman get married, of course, there will be a baby. It will be sexy time. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, well, if you say it like that, remember you were also a baby before. Yeah, I was a baby. Was. You were a baby. Reski was a baby. Aditya <laughs> was a baby. Why not Aditya? Tiara was a baby before. <laughs> yeah, you, you all were a baby. I was a baby. <laughs> I got baby. Yeah, you're a baby. So now it's a naughty baby. <laughs> we have number one, <laughs> number two, number three, and number four. Okay. This one, wow, this woman. Um, yeah. Is there anyone want to say about this picture? Maybe, yeah. uh, maybe a girl wants to say something about this. Uh, oh, you don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyone? It's too small. I can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Uh, you're using your phone, your cell phone. Okay. All right. Now, this one, the first picture shows that uh, the, the wife, so now she is already a wife. The wife went to the, what, the nurse? or the doctor to check her pregnancy. Okay, now we, we, we just we need to see this word first. The first one, amniocentesis. Two baby bottle, baby shower, bottle fat, bottle feed, breathing exercises, car seat, change a diaper, <laughs> change a diaper, anti popo. Nah. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Deliver uh, delivery room, expectant parents, father to be, added you are a father to be, fetus. <laughs> what is fetus? <laughs> fetus, uh, give birth, infant, in labo, midwife, uh, Tiara is mother to be, <laughs> mother to be, uh, natural childbirth, uh, ob obstetrician, and then pacifier, playpen, pregnant, stroller, ultrasound, and walker. We have here, uh, they, the wife went to the, the doctor to check the pregnancy. And then she went to, uh, I think it's, it's a yoga or yeah, a kind of yoga kind of sport for a pregnant woman. Hmm. Mm, breathing exercises, it can be, yeah, you know, number, number five, breathing. Yes. <sighs> okay. It's easy, okay. why do that net yoga? <laughs> yeah. <it's> <laughs> <laughs> well, breathing exercise is easy, but for pregnant women, it's totally different story. Okay, sorry, women, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, imagine when you have your stomach is full, and suddenly you want to take it out, but you have to do hard work by pushing it. <laughs> it's very. Like, it's way harder than that. Way harder than that. Yeah, this is about the break of that. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Number three. Number three, we have a uh, stroller. This one, twenty-four stroller. Stroller, and um, this one is um, delivery room. Mm -hmm. Delivery rooms. It means ruang bersalin. Jadi, if you if you hear ruang bersalin, it means delivery room. So, the delivery kit? Jo, don't say ruang, ruang penyampaian, delivery. <laughs> no. so, in this case, even though you have the word deliver, deliver means, uh, ini artinya um, proses melahirkan, deliver, deliver. But if you go to the post office, deliver means okay. <laughs> okay. it's different, okay? Different. Mm -hmm. So even though it is the same word, but it has different meaning in different contexts. Um, and then we have here the word expected parents and then uh, um, father to be and mother to be. Um, which one that you never you don't know yet? Mm. Which one? I'm good. I'm good. Natural childbirth. It it means melahirkan uh, normal. Natural childbirth. Um, and then, excuse me. Pacifier. Twenty one. Twenty one. Pacifier. Okay. Um, pacifier. Pacifier, it can mean that it relates to how you uh, reduce the pain of um, delivering a baby. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. It can mean like that one. Uh, uh, no, it's, it's actually, I usually nipple shaped device for babies to suck or bite on. I see. What? Like I see. Device, nipple shaped device, nipple shaped device, you know, nipple. Uh, oh. for women. And then pacifier, put that into that nipple so that when the baby can can suck or can bite on. Supaya bayinya bisa menghisap puting susu ibunya. That's pacifier. Why don't that give it to their mother? Yeah, it relates to the mother, not the father. No, I mean, <laughs> no, you know, I mean, like, why do you need to be to use the pacifier? You can just give it to their mother. Oh, well, you know, sometimes there are there are forms of the woman's woman's uh, uh, breast, the nipple, that okay. doesn't <laughs> doesn't have that, that long uh, long surface. So the oh. mouth of the baby is still small. 
So the baby, sometimes uh, it's so hard to suck or to bite the nipple of the mother. So put the pacifier. So it's it's going to be very helpful. That's what it means. So and then we have we have fetus. Fetus is what's inside the woman's pregnant. That's fetus. When it is out, it becomes a baby. Yeah, so when you uh, when you do abortion, that's fetus. Uh, fetus. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's quite. Yeah, I think it's. Um, yeah, this fetus, it's within your the stomach of your mother. And then we have here um, Walker, Walker, this one, Walker. And the next picture we see, this is delivery room. Delivery room, when there's a baby in here with uh, baby toys. Um, and this is quite beautiful. And here goes the baby and the father. And then uh, like give birth. So when a woman, hello, um, if you are a woman or a girl now, and one day you want to, you you you're married, and then you're pregnant. When you wanted to say, I will give birth, it means melahirkan. So it's deliver. <laughs> Deliver process melahirkan proses proses amun nafas yang hup hup ah seperti itu seperti itu ya that's deliver jangan ketawa adit no no I know I know just joking but when you already deliver the baby kalau bayinya udah lahir itu dinamakan dengan give birth Okay, so this is different, yeah. So well, pregnant is uh, when the baby, when the fetus is, is still inside the womb, and then when you want to deliver the baby, and after the baby is out, that's called give birth. That's this is different. Expectant parents, um, and then we have a baby bottle, baby shower. I think you already know that crib midwife. So yeah, when when the wife already has a child, it is called a uh, midwife for the husband of society, midwife. And for your child, you are called as a mother. For your child, you are called as a father for the husband. So that's that's the way how it goes. Okay, having a baby now. We have a baby here. This is a baby. Um, and then this one, yeah. and this this is very interesting. These pictures, and then the next one we have growing up. Okay. The baby now is growing up. We have yeah. like one, two, three, four, five. Wow, it's growing up. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Right. So we we see the, the, the picture number one. This one, the first one, growing up. What happened to this? I think it's a boy or a girl. Boys. Boys. Mm -hmm. Boys. It's a boy. It's a girl. Okay. It's, why is it girl? Oh yeah. Is it a girl? Or is trans? I'm not, I'm not judging, okay? It's okay, boy, all right. I think it's a girl because look at question, uh, picture number two. This oh. this child is playing with girls. Yes. Basketball. Just, <laughs> girl. Looking at the wrong direction. It's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl, right? It's a girl. Yeah, you look at it in the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean wrong way? Oh, uh, you 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 seen like this way, or is vertical? Yeah. And look okay. at the other yeah. wrong direction. Maybe then. Okay. Mm. The, the the upper picture number one, two, three, four, five shows a girl. Look at this picture number three. I think it's uh, 
taking care of the makeup. Yeah. Number three. Yeah, makeup. So that's obvious that it is a girl. Uh, and so the baby is a girl. And now we have here uh, the second, the below picture beneath the upper one. Number one, two, three, four, and five. So it it means that it is um, yeah. This I think she this girl. What happened to her? What happened? She. Uh, mm -hmm. Hoping. Mm -hmm. the, then find a girl. Mm -hmm. and I mean, find a boy. And yeah, then the bed. Go back home. Ah, okay. All right. So actually, she went to um, skip. No, is it skip school? We have here the word. Um, wow, rebellious. This is bad. <laughs> I think it's this. This girl is a bit naughty uh, from this list. Naughty. He, That's very naughty. Yeah, she's. I think it's she cut class. You know, cut class. When you yes. do, when you do cut class, yeah. mean we skip class. Yes, we do that. <laughs> uh, skip, skip class and cut class is different. Are different. Really? When, you, when you when you skip class, it means that you did not intend to attend the class. You skip it. You pretend to forget it. <laughs> that skip class. Uh, Never do that. Never do I will. that. I will. Um, when you cut class, it means that the class, you attended the class, but then suddenly you went out to the toilet and then you never come back. Uh, you skip the class. Uh, you skip the class or you cut class. Almost the similar in meaning. It's it almost the same. And, but never do number 18. Never do that. Skip school. Who's that? That's that's that's, 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 that's that's totally bad. The more you say it, the more I want to it. Uh, okay. So, uh, but you never want to do skip lunch, right? Uh, I I do skip lunch. I just eat twice a day, so I didn't oh, twice a day. Oh, okay. All right. No wonder you are a bit skinny. <laughs> Oh, that's not the line, sir. You just lost the line. Okay. No, no, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, we have here um, adolescents. So you, you all are adolescents. I call okay. that adolescents. Well, some people call that as young adult. Mm -hmm. Young adult means orang dewasa muda. And then we have um, peer pressure. You know peer pressure? No. Huh? Well, no. peer pressure means that it is a um, when you have your friends and they uh, expected you to be to be some somebody or to be someone, and that you do something in their way. That's peer pressure. Um, for example, when I was a teenager in senior high school, uh, most of my male friends. Uh, were smoking and I didn't I didn't I didn't smoke I didn't go out I didn't have any girlfriend I didn't go out Sunday night I spent my time in the library <laughs> and then my friend said you are crazy what are you doing you have to smoke you have to have girlfriend and you have to drink. Uh, what what do you call that? It's a, it's a, it's a in a bottle. You know? And then yeah, I really, said, yeah, that's probably. peer pressure. That's peer pressure. Uh, when your friends want you to do something that is actually not the thing you want to do, that's peer pressure. Okay, okay. so we have growing up um, rebellious. You know, rebellious. I knew it. Yeah, rebellious. Rebel. Rebel means uh, um, suka melawan. <laughs> That's rebellious. 
Uh, unacceptable. Okay, I think you already know all these words. Acne. <laughs> Acne is clear. It can be found on your face. Acne. Acne and pimples are different, okay? Acne, pimples. Um, pimple. Pimple means small, but quite many in your face, like the stars. But acne, sometimes it's only one or only one, but then it's bigger than pimples. That's the difference. Okay. okay. Now, we, we talk about parenting. You become a parent now. You have a child. Amazing. Wow. Uh, parenting. So these parents are having conversation. I think it's, it's over the breakfast or coffee table. We have here uh, this woman. I think what is happening in the, in the scene? What happened from this word? What happened? This one. Mm -hmm. The first one is, um, I think, uh, look at his parents. And the second one is this, this, this kid. I think what happened? I think it's in the sink. Sink or what's that for? Uh, I think was that for, right? Was that for, or in the sink? Um, and then, uh, what about the third picture? So this man is talking about his child, his daughter. What is she doing? Um, I think she, what? She put, what did she do? She put, usually ini apa nih? Kalau di bawah tempat tidur kayak begini. Besar kemungkinan apa? Baju. Baju. Close, ya. Close, close. So, what did she do? She throw, just throw her clothes to... Oh, choppy. <laughs> okay. She, mm -hmm. she, she put... She just put her uh, clothes under the bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, and it makes it makes the room like this room. Yeah. This room yeah. it, it looks it looks the room uh, yeah. like what? Like messy, right? Messy. Messy. Mm -hmm. Messy. Messy means ev everything is not in its place and it's chaotic. That's messy. And number one, I think this girl or this daughter cried, and then I think she had quarrel with this one. So this mother talked to her friends. All right. Mm -hmm. Now we look at these words. Uh, anyone wants to read? Siapa yang mau baca? Buram. Mm -hmm. Sure. Buram. Buram. Oh, Buram. Okay. Buram. Okay. Uh, I will read. The first one is behave, bicker, blame, dishonest, disobedient, disobey, disrespect. So, um, any word that is started with this as the prefix, it means it is negative. Okay, jadi kalau kosa katanya diawali dengan kata this, 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 biasanya itu sudah mengarahnya ke negatif. Um, fault. Number nine, get caught. Uh, get in trouble. Honest. Lie. Mischief. 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 Honest. Obedient. Maybe. Refuse. Refuse, uh, refuse, respect, scold, shoplift, stubborn, tease, tell a lie, tell the truth. Um, tell a lie means berbohong, tell a lie, tell the truth, berkata jujur. Or the same with honest, honest. Um, yeah, so never teach your child to lie. 
Never. If this is about parenting, uh, it's. I think it's not. It's not really that relevant with you today. But at least you know the list of vocabulary that most people use when they talk about parenting. Okay. We need to be quick. Thirty-nine, eleven. Um, after school. Okay. After school. Oh wow! Look at this. Oh, wow. <coughs> Mm -hmm. And we have, oh, I think it's quite small. Attitude, chaos, chaotic, constructive, destructive, discipline, disorderly, distract, distraction, educational, encourage, encouragement, great, guidance, influence, mayhem, orderly, report card, role model, supervise, supervision, and discipline, and unsupervised and waste time. So this is about after school. Wow. So it's so never take your mother for granted because she has done a lot of things for you. Your mother and your, your father as well. So look at all these kids. Very naughty. Um, and then they played and then there was they're screaming and shouting. Um, yeah, it's about these words. Mm. Anyone want to say something about the picture? Uh, the window is falling. Mm -hmm. uh, um. <laughs> uh, mm. Curtains is falling because the kids mm -hmm. uh, are. Uh, mm -hmm. Not the. Mm. Yeah, look, look, look at the windows, sir. Okay, look at the windows, right? The first uh -huh. picture, the windows is just fine. Mm -hmm. And the second picture, the windows is uh, collapse or something. Um, okay. All right. I think it's. Yeah. I think this these two pictures show different situation. Mm, the left side shows a normal situation, and the right side shows a very chaotic situation. <laughs> Look at these two boys. These two boys um, on the. Okay. Now let we call it A and B. A picture is in the left side, B is in the right side. So in picture A, these two, two boys were studying together so nicely with their mother. And the sisters learned together on a table. And the TV is off. Mm. Meanwhile, the B pictures shows that these two boys were playing together inside the house and the girls uh, were <laughs> were not studying uh, one girl was busy calling her friends uh, maybe gossiping or talking whatever mm -hmm. and the other girls were screaming because nobody uh, helped her to explain about the learning material maybe and the tv is on it's so noisy. Yeah. So that's the way how you explain the picture. Mayhem. It's a mayhem. Uh, unsupervised. No, no. Uh, it means this is a wholesome family over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, may mayhem. Actually, uh, the word mayhem means uh, could be death or darkness. Um, because one of the music of, uh, I think it was Mozart, Mozart is, is the mayhem. When you, when you listen to mayhem, the, the sound of the music is uh, quite mysterious. Mm. Mm. But if you, if you put the word mayhem in this context, it means that this is chaotic, like this one, disorderly, disorderly. Uh, destructive, chaotic, and um, destruction. yeah, this destruction. 
distraction and undisciplined, unsupervised. Unsupervised means nobody, no adults supervise the children, so that becomes unsupervised. Now that's after school. Well, something bad happened. They wanted to have divorce. Um, no, that's so sad. <laughs> 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 so what happened in this picture? See? Oh, the the ah, what a nice ending. <laughs> oh, you are so devious, right? You said this is nice ending. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, no. This is well devious devious means that um uh, berhati ini ya berhati dingin ya devious. I'm cold heart. I'm cold as yeah. ice. Cold. Your heart is as cold as ice because you never been touched by a girl yet. <laughs> yeah, I think so, sir. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, and we have here. Um, this picture, number one, shows that uh, the wife is looking at a book or, yeah, a book or magazine. And suddenly she is looking at a picture of her husband with another man about to kiss. <laughs> yeah, so, and, and um, the next one is they have a little debate in the morning. Uh, yeah. Picture number two in front of the kids. Yes. They debate. Uh, yes. so the oh, yes. wife asked the husband, what did you do last night? And he said, nothing. It was nothing. <laughs> why, do, why do you have another girl smile? Is that a new perfume? Yeah. <laughs> And he said, he's just a friend, but you are my wife. <laughs> Whoa! No, don't do that. Don't do that. It's bad. Bad example, okay? You, you, you may not do cheating. Don't do cheat. It's, it's totally bad. Um, not as bad as people think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you know that? Yeah. Uh, I used to see that lots of people mm -hmm. do that, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's quite it's quite good to to do cheat other people. <laughs> I mean, people are used to cheating. Uh, it looks like to cheat them. Well, uh, it, you you need to define what what cheating is because not everything is about cheating. Uh, sometimes you can meet your close friend and then you just share stories together. I don't think that's cheating. But for your wife or your husband, it may be called as cheating. So it depends on the situation. It's, it's, so just, it's legal hmm? for people who wasn't get married? Yeah, it's legal for people who hasn't got married to do cheating. Wow. If it's, if it's even, yeah, it, it's it's legal. I will do that. I'll do it. Yeah, for example, for example, you are, you are just boyfriend and girlfriend, and then, mm -hmm. um, but today the meaning of the word boyfriend girlfriend are not as narrow as before. Yeah. But today it it means um, it's very close enough. That's boyfriend and girlfriend mm -hmm. thing. Um, it's okay for you to cheat. <laughs> Okay, sir. Uh, you have brought that. It's okay. No, to cheat? I, no, yeah. but, but remember, with one condition, with one condition. Yes, what is that? What's the yeah. You have to ask. You have to ask for permission. <laughs> In return for what? In return for, for your own up. safety. <laughs> Wait. Wait, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight, okay? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. As in, I have a girlfriend. I yeah. take her to a movie. I give her any attention she needs. And then I just ask her to cheat. Why do I need to ask, to ask her? It's all on me. Why? <laughs> you will never have a girlfriend, Adit. Shut up. <laughs> no, I mean like this. That's not, not before you do the cheating. No. 
before you start your relationship of uh, being a boyfriend or girlfriend you said uh, if one day i do cheat what will you do so that's the same thing with asking for permission yeah. uh, it that's, seems that's, that yeah you can demand uh too much to to be a marriage counselor so i think you could be a marriage counselor a marriage counselor yeah this this is a very practical joke <laughs> all for, right for us mm -hmm, for you okay. but don't follow my advice don't follow my advice it's just uh... i will uh, <laughs> no just skip it <laughs> Um, it's okay. quite good to follow your advice. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. Your yeah. advice was yeah, the thing were, is um, uh, when, when you when you start dating with with a girl, the way men and women's brain works different. Men act in a certain way. Women act in a certain way. So when they meet together they will see a different perspective in different worlds. For example, like this one, if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend and then you are very close and suddenly he, the, the, the boyfriend met with his old uh, crush oh. and then they were talking oh, together. No. They were just talking together in a bench of a, it's a flower park. This girlfriend would consider that as cheating even though this man only think that i just met my old crush and we just have conversation that's all but for this girlfriend that's cheating ah. so so this is the way how you how things are a uh, woman tend to see from her feelings her emotion but men tend to see it from logic uh, um, what? why <coughs> i don't know always um, wrong um men are always wrong uh, and women are always right jungle, yes. uh, jungle, uh, jungle, uh, okay women are always right kind of had it but it happens mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well it's very complicated you know and yeah. Remember this number th number three adultery never come to this one adultery okay. adultery okay. actually uh, well, well uh, you know adultery means that you commit uh, physical intimacy before you get married that's adultery oh uh, yeah physical intimacy you know, physical intimacy before you get married that's adultery and then you do it with more than just one person that's adultery for example uh, on monday you, you go with uh, this person and on tuesday you go this person oh, that's, oh, oh, that's, a play, that's, play that's adultery right that's see i did i will always dream that <laughs> i did dream to do that wow that's my kind of dream okay <laughs> let me have my dream <laughs> wow if that is your dream you have to be to be in san francisco <laughs> yeah, it's legal it's legal in san francisco you go you go to thailand there is a place for that <laughs> wow, wow that's... what no. what no you kind of no, get that visa no. sir yes you have to pay for visa and then you get when you go back home to Indonesia, you bring it to IV. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good advice, sir. That's a good advice. Yeah, you, you, you will, you will die young. That's what I said. Don't die young. I'm very young for that. Yeah, yeah we, we need to spend our young. Yeah. yeah. If you if you if you like to listen to music, you need to search the music with the title too much love will kill you uh, too much love song. will kill you there's Who's things that? like this, this song i never heard that that's old school yeah. i can do that i know it's, i know that's old school but at least the lyrics still work today really mm -hmm. work today. 
Okay. <laughs> now we have here uh, the word child custody. Child custody means when when a couple get divorced, and then who will take care of the child? Then that is called as child custody. Haasu anak. That's child custody. And uh, decision, disagree, irreconcilable differences. It means perbedaan yang tidak bisa disatukan lagi. Irreconcilable differences. Uh, married counselor <laughs> visitation rights visitation rights means that when uh, a couple has a uh, divorce and then the child perhaps stay with his mother or stay with his father during one year there will be some time when the child can be visited by the mother or by the father that's visitation rights see how bad it is that's, uh, in in the west it is organized in that way but in our in our country so far it's personal personal situation it depends yeah. on, uh incompatible file for the force that's that's uh, a letter or statement that you apply to the court that you want to get those that's um, but never come to this point okay because it's it's a dead end um, and unless unless for a woman you get physical abuse do you know physical abuse yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, or verbal abuse that you're being punched by your husband <laughs> oh that's good some <laughs> and it will do that <laughs> no don't do that it, it's um, harming you harming your wife's not good and uh, psychological abuse that's also bad psychological abuse don't do that as well. As long as I say a bit, it's, then... Um, <laughs> all right, so um, abandonment. Okay, that's joint custody. Joint custody means that you take care of your children, although you have already divorced. Uh, the husband and the wife, ex-husband, ex-wife, you work together to take care of the child. That's joint custody. Kalau di barat itu, meskipun sudah uh, divorce, uh, sometimes it can belong to the mother or it can belong to the father. So you have to follow that in the court. Okay. Growing old, now you go old, you, you will become alone. You feel attractive. And you will remember cemetery. <laughs> You will be dead, <laughs> elderly, and fix income. You have to fix your income when you're old. Memory loss, uh, pass away, retired, pension, senior citizen, spare time, vision loss, lost a loved one. So all these words belong to growing old. Now they are old now. Yeah, but to die. They... So. When you when you have your grandmother, your grandfather, don't look at them today, but look at them when they were young. Ask them, uh, nanny or grandmother or grandfather, do you have your picture when you were young? I want to see it. Look at them when they were young. For your grandfather, might be that he was a handsome man. And for your grandmother, she could be a very beautiful woman when they were young so don't look at them today but if you look at them today you would say um um good <laughs> it's all <laughs> don't look at them today look at them when they were young see it's, it's just uh it's just good to know that okay so now we come to our <clears throat> that's the last of our uh, conversation class for today still um, students who are active still the same one I really hope that next week uh, the rest of the students will be active mm -hmm. say something um, just speak up uh, so that I can hear your voice and next week uh, we will talk about unit 4 it's about community and consumer life 
we will talk about around town, community services, utility services, mailing services, telephone services, shopping in today's world, shopping for clothes, returns and exchanges, school and community, lifelong learning and recreation. Mm. Okay, so that would be community and consumer life. So for today's, we don't have any assignment yet. We just still practice. And remember that you need to pay attention to this word because this word will appear in the final exam. For example, for example, um, let's say I will choose one word for one student. So you need to speak about that word. For example, like this one, I will have um, parenting. Let's see, let's see parenting. Uh, I'd like to show which one is the parenting. Okay, parenting. And then we have misbehave. And then this one gets into Tiara, for example. So Tiara will speak up about misbehave in parenting. Mm -hmm. um, things like that. And we will talk about a picture. I will show you this picture again, but you will get different picture for one of you. For example, I will show this picture uh, growing up and then I will mention this for a random, your name, and then you need to be ready to speak up about the picture. Okay. okay? All right, let's So, if today is our 13th meeting, next week will be our 14th. We have 14, 15, 16. So our final exam would be in the end of June, right? Yes. Yeah, in the end of June. So we have four weeks in one month. Um, 14th, 14th will be the first week of June. 15th meeting will be the second week of June. 16th meeting is the third week of June. And after that, the 17th for the final exam would be in the end of June. So please stay tuned. Although um, the calendar is red, but we still have our online class. That's the good thing of this online thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I need to see that in our calendar. I'm not quite sure which date, but uh, you can go and check your own calendar. In my laptop, our final exam would be uh, June 28th. June 28th will be our final exam. Our 14th meeting will be June 7th. June 14th will be our 15th meeting and June 21st will be our 16th meeting. So that would be it. And I already I already received your score from Ms. Jana and your attendance list. So I will incorporate that from Ms. Jana into our class. And then you will get the score after that. Mm, okay. So that, what that means is that 50% from Ms. Jana, 50% from, uh, from me, the score. Right. Now, I'm, going to send you, I'm going to send you uh, the attendance list um, to our class. Um, I already have the portal. Portalnya sudah saya terima. Oh, hold on. I stop share this one. Okay. I already received the portal, so I don't know, it's just, so, uh, okay. Mm, I'll send you the link to the attendance list. <coughs> this is the attendance. You may go ahead and fill that one. Okay, all right, that's the attendance list. Um, Cynthia JJ. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Cynthia JJ. What what does JJ stand for? Oh, 
I don't know. Uh, with uh, Cynthia Julissa, sir. Huh? Okay, JJ is your name. Yes. No, my name is Cynthia Julissa, and I make uh, JJ. Oh, okay. That's your style, right? For your style. That's okay. Never mind. Um, and we have Sophia. Nisa, Safitri Kennedy, Tiara, Willy Pramata, Ridwan Agustri, okay, Kures, Imam Riswandi, okay, Rahayu, Dwi Putri, and, well, okay, the rest of you are there. Mm, okay, all right, attendance, I've already given to you. And, all right, that's our meeting for today, 14th meeting. We uh, finish it quicker. I just checked our meeting last week that it was it was more than two hours. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to talk about um, or the other format of our class would be like this one. We will talk about a topic or a theme where everyone is speaking up. It's not like this one, not like pictures. But you just say speak up about a certain topic that might be interesting for you. That's Which good. one? Which one? I'll go with everything. I go there with that. What about uh, Cynthia? What about Tiara? Which one? What is it? Mm -hmm. Which one? Which one is the is the most interesting? The first one, we go with the system of the book that I will show you pictures and then you will talk about the picture or you talk about a certain word. Or the second option, I will give you a topic and then everyone in the class will speak up about the topic. So it's completely like we have discussion. I think, uh, the second, the second. Second. The second option is, is, is more complicated because not all of us uh, are talking. Oh, okay. So it depends on situation right now. Uh -huh. It's more complicated to have to. But I I want to choose to, but the situation. Oh, okay. It's uh, being considerable about the situation, right? Sure. Yeah. I think I think you are right too. We can choose the second option if we are face to face and sitting together in a classroom, that would be fine. But because we do our class online, so I would go to uh, the first option. I'll show you the picture and then the word, and then you, you talk about that one. Okay, so I think that's for today. I'll see you again next week. Uh, is there any question? No, 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 no question. It's a, uh, I don't know, since 2013, 2014, when I teach again, I noticed that Indonesian students are a bit hesitant to ask questions. I don't know why. When I studied in the US, my friends told me, hey, hey bro, if you study in the US, it's a question. That's different. Um, but in here, but maybe, yeah, there's no question. But try to ask question, even though it's just look uh, simple. Because we got nothing to talk to. <laughs> because you got nothing to ask, right? Yeah. yeah. Everything is clear. Okay. Everything uh, is clear. So far, so good. So far, so good. And you get the material. So. I try to make it simple. Uh, I try to make it straightforward to you. I don't want to beat around the bush. You know, beat around the bush. Uh, what do you call that? Beat around the bush. Uh, I, I will type the word beat around the bush like this one. Beat around the bush. Beat around the bush. It means uh, tele tele. So I just uh, chop, 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 chop. Okay, and then we're, we're done. Okay, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. 
Um, all right, so thank you for coming. Since there's no question, I'll see you again next uh, next week. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.